everyone! My name is Tamara, and this is the fourth episode of the Caffeinated Craft Mamas podcast. My podcast is all about my knitting and crochet in Southwest Missouri, where I live with my partner Richard, our three kids, and our dog. I hope you all are well. Today is February 25th. It's a Thursday, the week after Snowpocalypse. Hope everyone is well and they have their electricity back and things are doing better than they were. Thankfully, we were not super affected here. Obviously travel was affected and we, our town did have to shed some loads. So there were some rolling blackouts, but we never actually lost power. And we also had a sink that started to drip, but thankfully that is fixed now and everything is fine. We are very blessed that we were not affected in any other way. So let's get started with crafty content and what I'm drinking. This is a Yorkshire Tea Biscuit Brew. I blame Hannah from the Corner of Craft. I ordered this and it came, took three and a half weeks to get here from England to Missouri. Um, and it's every bit as delicious as she said it was going to be. Definitely not what I was expecting, but I really like it, so. Okay, let's talk about what I'm wearing. This is my pajama cardigan by Judy Jewel of the Autumn Acorn. It's got thumb holes, that's my favorite part. Um, I'll take it off here so you can see. It is a garment that is knit in pieces. I tested this for her last fall, end of summer, early fall. So it's got this really pretty back panel detailing and you have that same detailing on the button band and on the pockets. I knit this out of Yarn Bee Sleek and Soft DK. I don't remember what the colorway name is, um, but I absolutely love it. My typical wardrobe is jeans, t-shirt, and this cardigan. It matches just about everything I own and has gotten a ton of wear. I do have plans to knit this out of Superwash yarn. I've never made myself a garment out of wool, and so that is like one of my dream knits to knit a whole garment with wool. Um, I've always just used acrylic, so it'll be an, an adventure, excuse me. This pattern is written for worsted weight yarn, but because I am, I don't, I'm not really sure if I'm a tight knitter or a loose knitter, but either way, I ended up having to do DK weight um, to get gauge. So, I don't have any finished objects this week, and that's okay. Um, my kids were home all last week, and I didn't get as much crafting time as I wanted to, but that's all right. They had a blast. We played, we brought the snow inside, we played games and did a bunch of silly stuff. So, it was a lot of fun. I am glad they're back in school, though. <laughs> so, let's start with at least one thing I finished. Uh, a I went to coffee at a friend's house this morning and I was able to bind off the body on William's Dino Roar sweater. And her little guy is four and he tried it on for me and it was a little snug on him so I know it'll fit William really well for at least this year and next year because um, I think he wears a 5T shirt. So this is where I was last time. So I've gotten a considerable amount done. And this is a pattern by Meg of Bad Wolf Girl Studios. I'll grab the pattern here. I'm getting ready to be on Sleeve Island, oh boy. I actually do my sleeves two at a time magic loop because I know if I do them one at a time, they won't get done. So um, I also have that problem with socks, which is my next whip. We'll talk about that. These are, this is in a bag by Lila Styles, my Lord of the Rings bag. I love these bags. These are my mom's Hermione's Everyday Socks, patterned by Erica Luter. You can get it on uh, Ravelry, and I believe you could message her and she could just send it to you if Ravelry is not something you can access right now. And these socks come with a bit of a tale of woe. Unfortunately, I was sitting and knitting these socks at Sunday dinner the other day and my mom and sister and I were talking about socks 
And I had knit four pairs of socks over Christmas and they were all matching socks. There was a pair for myself, a pair for my mom, a pair for my sister, and a pair for my mom's best friend, Holly. And my mom and my sister said that their heels kept slipping down. So their heels would be like on the bottom of their foot. And after talking about it some and kind of figuring out what was going on, we realized that maybe afterthought heels are not um, the best for our feet, which is a real bummer because they're my favorite heel to knit because I can just knit a tube and then pop in a heel. Um, I realized that too because I was wearing the random bleachy socks that I finished last week the other day and they kept slipping. So I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. But I had um, someone on Instagram, Gretchen, I can't remember her handle, I'll put it down here, um, messaged me an article about 16 different heels that someone had knit the patterns for and um, talked about each heel and what kind of foot it would fit best. And so I'm gonna read that article more in depth, send it to me yesterday and kind of come up with a game plan. But for right now, I've got a fish lips kiss heel in here. And I'm already having second sock syndrome with these and I haven't even started the second sock yet. I most definitely could have knit these two at a time and I didn't, which was a bummer. <laughs> so, um, but that's okay. They'll be fine. And speaking of my mom's friend, Holly, here's my other Lila Styles bag first. She got some sock tubes cranked at our local yarn store and then kind of realized that sock knitting wasn't her jam, which is fine. It's not for everybody. Um, it's just like amigurumi is not my thing, but I've got a friend who absolutely loves amigurumi. So she gave me all these sock tubes and she's like, hey, can you fix, finish these for me? And I was like, sure, absolutely. So I'm popping in a heel here. She did the toe and the cuff. Um, and so I'll have hopefully a pair done for her when I see her for coffee next Friday. Not tomorrow, Holly. Next Friday. Because she gave these to me with several other tubes before Christmas and I've just kind of been putting them off and I want to get them done for her so she can wear them and love them. Okay, next up is actually some yarn that I talked about last podcast as a future knit and then I totally took a left turn and changed it and that's okay. This is my Chasing Blizzards shawl by Katie. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that. Her um, Ravelry store is KVG Woolworks. And I did find her on Instagram as well under the same name. So this is a free pattern on Ravelry. It's just a garter stitch with um, eyelet rows thrown in there. I kind of paused on it. I was knitting this pretty much obsessively when the snow was outside and things, but I've kind of paused because I'm gonna rework the pattern a little bit. I don't wanna do the mesh sections that are coming up. So I'm trying to um, figure out what I do want to do. Um, I'm knitting this. The black is a Cascade Heritage sock. And the green is um, Bad Wolf Girl Studios and Pin Up Zombie. I am shocked by how much I love this. Let me preface that by saying I am not a bright colors kind of person. I am black gray, dark blue, maroon type of person. That's just what I prefer to wear. It's what I gravitate towards. And so for me to have a bright green shawl um, is not normal, but I absolutely love it. And I cannot wait to have it done so I can wear it. Um, that was originally going to be the All About That Brio shawl, but I couldn't get to the library to print off my patterns. I'm a paper pattern kind of girl, and this was something I could follow on my phone. So um, I just went ahead and did that. And this bag is by Knit by Nature. Um, she is, I'll put her Instagram handle down here because I don't remember it exactly, but every time I use this bag, I think of my daughter, Jade, because when she was little, she called owls, wowls, 
and it made my heart so happy and it still does even though that was like five years ago six years ago okay next up is my cousin abby's afghan it was down here last time you guys saw it so it got a little bit of work um not as much as i wanted but a little bit i have decided that after i'm gonna do finish the gray section here a maroon and the white will be my turning the corner so i'll do one increase one level and then start decreasing so that will be the blocks will be a little bit bigger than this but not much i did realize i am going to have to order more yarn which is not a big deal i don't mind doing that um but i'm about halfway through each of the skeins and i only bought three of each skein and i need four blocks total to make the the design that i'm wanting um, i haven't had to guess how much yarn i've needed for crochet in a really long time so i just underestimated i knew i should have ordered more that's okay so not a whole lot of progress on that but she doesn't graduate until may so i'll get my butt in gear and get that done for her. i'm excited to give her that okay next i put a poll up on instagram just a second let me get a drink i'm getting froggy Ooh, okay i put a poll up on instagram about whether i should start another scrappy project so i have you know my scrappy um, cozy memories blanket that i'm doing pattern by shelly dupont but then i decided well you need a scrappy crochet project and a scrappy knitting project right like that's just fair you need to do both um so i put a poll up on instagram and then about 10 minutes later after i put that up i was like yeah i'm gonna do that so these are my little scrappy granny squares they each take about five grams of yarn and what i typically do is i put a square in my cozy memories blanket and then all those scraps go into a bag and they're meant to go into a magic knot ball well, I was putting scraps into my magic knot ball and sometimes I'd have 14, 15 grams I was putting into this magic knot ball and I felt like that was too much. Not enough for me to keep, because I've already used some for heels, toes, and cuffs or I've already put some in socks. So I thought I would go ahead and crochet these up and just have a big stack of them and then I'll order some probably gray Cascade Heritage sock yarn just to crochet them all together. And it'd be another fun, scrappy project that I would have some fun memories wrapped up in um, to have on the couch. This would be a good summer blanket around here. Um, yes, in my house we have summer blankets, fall blankets, winter blankets. We love blankets around here. <laughs> but just because there's so many holes, so it's gonna provide some warmth, but not be too hot. Um, Cause in the summer here, it can get pretty warm. So that's those. And I am going to make myself weave in all the ends on Sunday morning, sit down with my coffee, weave in the ends on this six before I'm allowed to start anymore. Um, that way I don't get behind and I don't have a stack, you know, this tall and I'm like, oh, Okay, let's move on to do, 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 Stash Editions. My book is here. I'm so excited about this book, you guys. So my uncle ordered this for me for Christmas. And I am so glad. Oh, look. It immediately opened to one of the first things I want to knit because I've been looking at this nonstop. This is um, The Order of the Jedi Pullover by Meg Reagan. I am planning on... Um, actually making William a baby Yoda sweater. So I have her Dino Roar pattern, which you guys saw earlier in the episode, and I am going to combine it with these charts and make William a baby Yoda sweater because quite honestly, he needs a baby Yoda sweater and his mommy needs to knit him a baby Yoda sweater. But there are so many more patterns in here that I am just super excited about. Jade has already called claim to a BB-8 blanket. This pattern is by Tannis Gray, who um, curated the book. And um, so there's there's just so much in here that so many things are going to get done. I'm so excited. 
Um, I've never wanted to knit color work socks, but I tell you what, this is a pattern by Natalie Sheldon. They're the Wookiee socks. Color work socks may have to happen, even though I'm not a huge color work sock knitter. Those look like so much fun. Um, so I'm really excited to get started with this. I sent a picture of this book to my cousin, who's also really into Star Wars, and um, I knew he wouldn't be as excited as I was, but he was like, ooh, oh boy, Tara, you know, he's 16. I'm, my knitting is not exciting at all. Um, here's a pattern, the General Leia Organa Pullover by Carissa Browning. I'm really excited about this. I really want to make this probably in that color too, that kind of denim navy. So yeah, you're gonna see this book a lot because I am going to be knitting from it a lot. I'm super, super excited about it. So yes, my Star Wars book is here. I love it so much. I've got one more stash edition and then we'll do life update. I feel like I'm flying through this. I know I say that every episode, but I'm typically on a time crunch and I am today as well, so you know, okay. So I also ordered off eBay this Blankets and Throws to Knit by Debbie Abrams. My friend Nicole, I have been teaching her how to knit and we got to talking the other day because she's doing projects for all of her kids and she's like, I really want a blanket for our couch, like a grown up blanket. And so we were kind of searching on Ravelry, I was looking around and I'm looking for a specific page, hang on. Um, and we, uh, found this pattern and it said it wasn't available. I tried to get the book from the library and it had apparently been lost, so I just went ahead and ordered it. And so this, we're gonna do some of these. Be a good way to introduce her to some patterns and some cables and things and have a really pretty blanket um, or blankets for our couches and a fun project that we can do together. So I'm really excited about this. I've never actually knit an afghan before, so it'll be a starting um, a starting place, excuse me, for both of us. So I'm really excited about it. Um, and like I said, I just got this off eBay. I think it was printed in 2002 maybe? It's an older book. Well, I don't know when it was printed. Why? Oh, copyright 2008. But first publishing was 2002. So, yeah. Really excited about it. So, I'm sure you will see those blocks come up soon. Um, she's got some other projects she's got to finish first. She's already turning into me and having a pile of projects. I'm a bad influence. Sorry, Nicole. Um, so life updates and whatnot um life updates we had a zoom doctor's appointment with jade's autism specialist and they were really pleased with her progress and how she's doing and we're really excited for her um they did go ahead and suggest that we do um clinical speech for william along with the first step speech therapy that he's receiving so we're in the process of getting that. Um, and we are also in the process of getting a PEC system for him to help him communicate with us until um, speech can do what it needs to do. Um, so I'm excited about that. I feel like we have a good plan in place for him of what we're going to do, how we're going to help him, and um, help him be successful. And that's really what his dad and I want for him. Um, it's just for him to be able to communicate with us and be successful in his therapies. So other than that, we've really not done a whole lot. The weather was crap up until a few days ago. It was like 72 degrees here a couple of days ago when we spent a ton of time outside. I could not believe that at the end of February I had my windows open. Um, but other than that, we've just kind of been chilling. I went to Nicole's um, today and that's really about it. We get sissy tonight, so that'll be fun. My brother-in-law's birthday is this weekend, so happy birthday, Logan. I highly doubt you're watching this, but if you are, happy birthday. Um, and so yeah, that's pretty much it. I feel like, like I said, that I flew through this. Oh, I did want to mention one thing. 
I am so close to 500 followers on Instagram. I've got like 20 followers to go before I'm 500 followers. So if you like the content that I put up here, if you enjoy watching my videos, um, you might consider going over to Instagram and subscribing to my Instagram page. Um, once I reach 500 followers over there, probably 50 subscribers here on YouTube, I'm gonna do a giveaway. I've got some fun stuff planned. Um, and so I'd really like to be able to do that. Um, other than that, I think that's about all I have to share with you guys today. I hope you all are well. I hope you all are healthy. I hope you all are safe. And I look forward to crafting again with you in two weeks. Bye.